Yo, what is up guys? We are back. How is everybody doing? We are here showcasing the Forbidden Craft 3.2 update that will be launching on May 2nd. Uh, we are currently running a beta build of the server. And uh, I'm going to be showcasing some of the new changes that will be coming uh, in this update. And also, there's... Oh, there's a drowned in there. Okay, well, that's nice. Uh, we're not gonna worry about that, though. We're gonna leave him alone. <laughs> and, uh, we're gonna hop right into some of the changes you guys can expect to see in this update. So, uh, to showcase some of this, I am going to go into creative. Uh, any of the items that I pull out of creative for demonstration purposes... Uh, I will go ahead and get rid of afterwards. Uh, but anyway, so here we are. We're in creative. And there's a lot of different little things in this update. Uh, one of the things that I think will be kind of useful, but at the same time, uh, you know, it kind of depends on what your definition of useful is. Uh, we'll go with some of the smaller stuff first, and then we'll get into some of the bigger stuff. If I spawn a chicken here, uh, and I right-click this chicken, you can see I can pick up this chicken. I have a poor chicken in my inventory, and, uh, if I just go ahead and walk off this ledge, you will see that I will actually glide down, and I will take no fall damage. And then if we want to get rid of the chicken... We just go ahead and uh, hit Q, and we can throw the chicken out, and now he's free to go. Uh, so you can see, uh, you can actually pick up chickens now, and uh, use them uh, to prevent yourself from taking fall damage. Uh, not like the most useful thing in the world, but if you don't have an Elektra, and you want to get down from a high place, and there just so happens to be a chicken around, uh, I feel like you could get some use out of that. So, uh, next thing in this update that we have is, if I just go ahead and grab a bunch of these, and one of those, and I head on over to my crafting table, uh, you will see that you are actually able to craft enchanted golden apples now. Uh, this used to be a feature in Minecraft normally, uh, but they removed it at some point. I forgot which update they removed it, but they removed it at some point. Uh, and I, in this update on the server, have added it back into the game. Uh, so you can craft enchanted golden apples. It's the same crafting recipe as a normal golden apple, but with gold blocks instead of gold ingots. Uh, so, that's a nice little quality of life update, uh, that we have here. But, uh, we actually have a lot more in this update. Uh, so, the next thing I want to go into is double jumps. Uh, you can actually double jump now. And uh, it might would be easier to demonstrate this outside of creative mode. Uh, so that's what we'll do. Let's see, game mode, survival. All right, so we're back in survival. And if we just go ahead and try to double jump from a standstill, you'll notice it won't work. Uh, oh shit. Damn, that creeper really fucking wanted to get me. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, so, you can see it won't work. But if we sprint, and we take one jump, and then we, after that first jump, we double tap the space bar when we land, you will see that we do a slightly higher jump the second time around. You do take a little bit of damage when landing, uh, and you can completely negate that uh, if you land on a higher block than what you started on. Uh, or if you have fall damage uh, on your boots. So if we just go ahead and uh, demonstrate this here, I'm going to try to land on this block. 
And you see, I didn't quite make it. It's only half a heart of damage. But you can see I landed on this block, which was one block higher than where I started from, and I didn't take any damage at all. Uh, so, so long as you land one block higher than where you started, uh, you won't take any damage. Uh, and if you have uh, fall damage protection uh, on your boots, then uh, you won't take damage either. But uh, either than uh, other than that, if you do it normally, you will take about half a heart of damage each time. Uh, so it does give you a little bit of a boost, and if we put these bunny hop boots on, you will see that the second jump is uh, not really affected by uh, by this. So that little extra that you get, you you're still doing a double jump in this case. Uh, if I go ahead and show here. Um, you'll notice if you count the time it takes me to make it back down um, after the second jump and you compare that to the first jump we are still going a little bit higher and a little bit further but it's a lot more subtle because we're getting that bunny hop right out the gate uh, so the secondary jump is not affected by jump boost or anything like that uh, so this will be a very useful feature uh, for people that don't have access to jump boost and stuff like that. Uh, but for people who do, uh, it's not going to be quite as useful. However, you still will get a little bit of an extra jump uh, even if you're using jump boost. It's just going to be a lot less of a boost for you. Uh, so that's some of the small things that we added in this update. Uh, but there's actually more uh, to this update. So if we go ahead and uh, go on through, we also have some really fun stuff uh, that I think you guys are going to like. Uh, the first thing I want to go over is, I know in previous streams and previous updates, I stated that I wasn't interested in adding emerald tier armors because we already had the obsidian armor. Uh, however, I've added in emerald equipment anyway uh, because I found a way to make it uh, pretty interesting. Uh, so if I just go ahead and we'll grab, uh, we'll grab some string, alright, we'll grab, uh, some sticks, we'll grab, uh, some emeralds, of course, and then we'll also grab, uh, let's see here, we'll grab some diamonds, and we'll grab some blaze powder. All right, so we have a bunch of stuff going on here now. Um, and basically the way this is gonna work, let's go ahead and go through the armor first, and then we'll get to some of the other stuff. So if I go ahead and craft myself, just as you would normally craft a helmet, uh, you'll see I will get an emerald helmet with projectile protection 2 and tier 1. Uh, and you should be able to see... I don't know if it's going to... Uh, let's see real quick. If I go ahead and hop back in... Let's say we'll make that real quick. You see, now it has thorns 2 instead of projectile protection. Because every time you do this... Uh, you will get a random enchant uh, instead. So I might hop back in and this time we'll get blast protection on there. Uh, that's actually really good. But you'll notice that tier 1 
is always there. That's because there's actually different tiers uh, to this uh, emerald equipment. So if I chuck in a diamond here, you'll see now it's a tier two and the enchantment has changed. Uh, and if I just kind of do this again real quick, you will see we get projectile protection two and tier two. Now the different tiers, uh, once you get to a certain point in the tier system, you're guaranteed like some pretty good enchants. Uh, but also, for each tier you go up, that's more durability you're going to get out of that armor. Uh, unlike the obsidian armor, however, the emerald armor can break. Uh, but it's a lot more durable than diamond. Uh, and if we just go ahead and we do this, you'll see we will get a tier 3 helmet uh, with blast protection 5 in tier 3. Uh, so that's really good. And uh, so that's the crafting for the helmets. Uh, now we'll get into the chest plate. You'll see, uh, you'll make the chest plate just normally, as you normally would. Uh, and then if you want to make the tier 2, you'll put a diamond here. Uh, and then if you want to make the tier 3 variant, you would put blaze powder here. Uh, and that's going to give you a tier 3 emerald chest plate. Uh, now if we want to make the pants, uh, we would make the pants as normally. That would be a tier 1. Uh, for tier 2, we're going to put diamond there. Uh, and for tier 3, we're going to put blaze powder here. Uh, and that'll give us a tier 3 emerald leggings. Uh, and then for the boots, you know, normal boots, we would go ahead and put them in like that. Uh, tier 2, you're going to put a diamond here. And then for tier 3, we're going to put blaze powder there. And that'll give you tier 3 emerald boots. Uh, so that's all of the armor. However, we have quite a bit more. Uh, so in addition to armor, you can also craft swords, pickaxes, axes, shovels, hoes, fishing rods, and bows. Uh, with this so going into the sword crafting recipes you'll see we put a stick here we put two emeralds that'll give us a tier one emerald sword uh, if we swap this top emerald for a diamond that'll give us a tier two emerald sword and then if we want the tier three emerald sword the crafting recipe for this is a little funky you want to have two emeralds one blaze powder here and a diamond over here that'll give you the tier 3 emerald sword and you can see with this one we just got looting five off of that uh, every time you go to craft one of these it will give you a random enchant uh, so that's really good that is really good uh, and then if we wanted to make uh, if we wanted to make the pickaxe we would do uh, let's see we would do this for the regular pickaxe. We would swap this middle one out for the tier two. And you can see that just gave us a lot of mending on there, so that's really good. Uh, and then for the tier three, we would swap this stick out for some blaze powder. And that just gave us mending five. So that is insanely good. Um, and then you can see if we want to make an axe, we would start with this for the tier 1 axe. Uh, tier 2, we would swap this out for a diamond, and that will give us a tier 2 axe. And then for tier 3, we're going to swap this middle piece out for blaze powder, and that's going to give us a tier 3 emerald axe. Uh, going into shovels, for the regular shovel, we're just going to have an emerald right here. Uh, for the tier 2 shovel, we're going to add a diamond here. That'll give us a tier 2. And then for the tier 3, we're going to put a diamond here 
and blaze powder here and that'll give us a tier 3 emerald shovel uh, and then for the hoe we are going to put two emeralds there like that that'll give us the regular emerald hoe if we swap this out for a diamond that'll give us a tier 2 emerald hoe and if we swap this piece out for blaze powder, that will give us a tier 3 emerald hoe. Uh, now moving into fishing rods, because you, you can make fishing rods with this as well. Uh, fishing rods, we're going to want to put a stick here. Two emeralds like this. And then two string like that. And that is going to give us a tier 1 emerald fishing rod. If we swap this out for a diamond, that'll give us a tier 2 emerald fishing rod. And if we swap out both of the strings for blaze powder, that will give us a tier 3 emerald fishing rod. Uh, and then finally, we have one last crafting recipe, or line of crafting recipes for this and that is going to be the bow. So for the bow, we're gonna have three string here, and we're gonna have three emeralds like this. That's gonna make us a tier one emerald bow. If we swap this middle emerald out for a diamond, that'll make us a tier two emerald bow. And if we swap this bottom emerald out for blaze powder, uh, ooh, hmm. That one doesn't seem to work actually. Uh, let's see. Alright, well hopefully I'll be able to fix that. For some reason that one's not working. Um, yeah, for some reason that one's not working. Alright, so tier 3 emerald bows are not working right now. Hopefully I'll be able to fix that in between now and the update uh, release. And if I'm not able to fix that for whatever reason, we still have a lot uh, to work with here. Uh, so, that being said, uh, that is actually not the end of this update, because there is one last feature that is part of this update, and, uh, this feature is quite possibly, uh, probably gonna be one of the most fun features, uh, to play around with. Uh, it was actually something that was recommended to me, uh, and that is the ability to craft enchantments. Uh, so, you can now craft enchantments, however, you cannot craft the, the normal enchantments. Instead, we have... Uh, 10 new enchantments that you will be able to craft and uh, you'll be able to put on various uh, tools, weapons, armors, whatever. Uh, so these new enchantments are Actuation, which is an enchantment that if you left click it will trigger nearby redstone contraptions uh, temporarily. Uh, we have Persistence, which is an enchant where the item will be returned to your inventory when you die, but it will lose that enchantment afterwards. Uh, that might not seem particularly useful, given that we have Keep Inventory on, but there will be events in the future where Keep Inventory will be off for a limited time. And that enchant will be very useful during that time. Uh, the next enchant we have is the explosive enchant, uh, which uh, whenever you're mining or killing entities, uh, it will cause a small area of effect uh, blast. Uh, this enchant will be very useful for mining because it will actually allow you to mine three by three areas. Um, the next enchant we have is a leeching. Dealing damage heals you half a heart per level of leeching and the max level of that is three so that would be one and a half hearts healed 
when you deal damage, so that's very nice. Uh, the next enchant we have is called Infusion. Uh, that will allow you to gain a random compatible enchant on that item every time you level up. Uh, that is going to be very useful. The next enchant, not so useful, however it is kind of funny, uh, and that is an enchant called Villainy. Now, Villainy is going to make a villager sound every time you use that item. Uh, or if you put it on armor every time you get hit. Um, so, not particularly useful, but it's it's fun. Uh, the next one is going to be called uh, Gleaming. And this will temporarily gain all the enchantments of the inventory that item is in. This is going to be an insanely broken... Uh, insanely broken enchant. However, um, you can only put it on gold tools. It will not work on any other item. It has to be gold. Um, so, that's going to be pretty broken, but it is only available on gold armor and equipment. So, yeah, it is what it is. Uh, and then we have warping, which is our next one. That will gain a chance to teleport randomly. Uh, if struck, if you put it on your armor, uh, or when attacking, if you put it on a sword. Uh, and then finally, our last two, two craftable enchants are telekinesis, uh, which basically, if you have it on a tool, uh, whatever you just mined will automatically go into your inventory, uh, or if you have it on a sword, um, whatever mob you just killed, their drops will automatically go into your inventory. And then finally, our last craftable enchant is smelting, uh, which if you put it, uh, whatever you put it on, it will auto smelt items that you retrieve with that item. Uh, so those are all of our craftable enchants. Now you're probably wondering, how do you get these enchants? Well, if you saw the teaser that I put up a while back, uh, you will know that certain items now have various markings on them. You'll see the gold ingots have question marks on them. That's because the gold ingots can't be used for this, but gold blocks can be used for this. Uh, so that'll be very useful. Uh, so the gold block will actually give you gleaming, uh, if you combine it in an anvil with whatever item you are trying to, uh, enchant. Uh, the lapis blocks will give you infusion, um, and then for the rest of the items, because I don't think I have all of them on hand here, uh, the emerald blocks will give you the villainy enchant. Uh, Ender Pearls will give you the Warping Enchant. And uh, I'm just going to go through all of them here real quick. So the Actuation Enchant can be found on levers. So if you have a lever uh, and you combine it with the item you want to enchant uh, in an anvil, it will enchant that item with that enchantment. And the same goes for all of these. So persistence can be found on dead bushes. Uh, explosive can be found on TNT. Leeching can be found on gas tears. Infusion can be found on lapis blocks. Uh, villainy can be found on emerald blocks. Gleaming can be found on gold blocks. Warping can be found on ender pearls. Telekinesis can be found on Eyes of Ender, and Smelting can be found on Blaze Rods. Now, unfortunately, that is, that is a lot of thunder. I don't know if you guys were able to hear that, because I don't know what the, uh, what the, I, I don't know what the game volume is set to in this recording. Um, 
But, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to showcase all of these uh, in this uh, video because items pulled out of creative... Uh, hold on, let's just go ahead and... Let's just go ahead and get rid of that. There we go. Okay, so... Items pulled out of creative do not have these enchants. So, like I said, actuation uh, can be found on levers, but if I take this lever out, uh, it won't give me that enchant. Uh, items taken out of creative do not, uh, you know, count towards this. So, uh, to demonstrate at least some of them, uh, I'm going to go ahead and grab a couple gas spawn eggs here. And we're just going to go to town on some ghasts, and we're going to collect uh, some of the uh, gas tiers. So, we'll just go ahead and... There we go. So, uh, looks like I did not get a gas tier off of that one. Uh, no gas tier off of that one either. Wow. Okay, this might take a while. This might take a while. Let's see. Wow, what is my luck right now? There we go. Okay, so there's a gas tier. And you can see this has a leeching one. Uh, now we're going to go ahead and grab a few more of these so I can how to increase enchantments. So, let's see. Oh, you little Alright, did that give me... Nope. Wow, okay, the guest tiers are a bit of a low confidence. Yeah, this might take a while. There we go, so there's two. We'll go ahead and get a few more. Uh, there's three. There's four. Ah, come on. There we go, there's five. Alright, we'll go with five for now. Uh, and we'll see how that does. So, if I just go ahead and grab myself a sword, uh, and I'm gonna showcase real quick how enchanting works with these new craftable enchants. Uh, and this will apply to, uh, literally all of the enchants, uh, will function the same as far as being able to craft them. Uh, and apply them and level them up. Uh, however, um, the enchant you get is reliant on what item you're using. So gas tears will give you leeching, which will heal you when dealing damage. Uh, so if I just throw this sword in here, and I throw one of these in, I'll get leeching one. If I throw this again, I'll get leeching two. However, if I do this again, you'll see it won't work. That's because we're trying to combine leeching one with leeching two. But, if I take two of these, I'll get leeching two there. And then, if I put these in, I can get leeching three. Uh, now, leeching does not go any higher than leeching three. Uh, so, it's actually not possible to get any higher than that. Uh, but you can see right there, uh, I was able to get a Leeching 3 sword. And what this will do is it will heal me whenever I deal damage. So if I just go ahead, take some damage here. And then I deal some damage. You'll see. I'll get some help. Uh, granted, that creeper just took it all. But, uh, you can see I can get a little bit of health back with that. Uh, so that is very useful. Um, but if we go ahead and let's get rid of this. Uh, I'm not going to showcase every single one of these enchants. Um, however, I am going to showcase at least one more of them. Uh, 
And this one will be a lot easier to showcase because I can just pull the crafting materials necessary for it out of creative to, uh, to make the specific item, and that will still work. Uh, so let me just grab a bunch of these, and we'll go ahead and craft these into some TNT. There we go, and you can see that'll give me explosive enchants. Now, the explosive enchant only goes up to explosive 2, uh, which is why I only made 2 of these. And if I just go ahead and grab myself a pickaxe, and I go ahead and throw this first one in here, that'll give us explosive 1. And if I throw the second one in here, that'll give us explosive 2, so now that's maxed out. Uh, and if I go over here and I mine this block here, you will see we are now capable of completely mining 3x3 three three areas, uh, and you still get all the items off of it. So that is going to be very useful. Uh, and just to demonstrate, uh, this also works on... Uh, this will also work on swords, however, the way that it works will be a little bit different. So, if I just go ahead and we'll make some more of that, and I'll put it on a sword, uh, I'll be able to show you guys how that works. Uh, so, if I just go ahead and put these on here, there we go. We'll just make two of those. There we go, perfect. Uh, so I'll get rid of the rest of these. I'll grab myself a sword. And uh, we'll do a little bit of a demonstration here. So we'll throw this up here. And we will, oh, my bad. <laughs> I have to go in the anvil, I forgot. Uh, go in the anvil, throw one of these in here. We have an explosive one sword. Uh, I'm not going to do Explosive 2 just yet, uh, because I want to demonstrate the difference between the two. So we're going to go into Spectator real quick, and we'll go up to the surface, so I don't damage any of my stuff down here. Uh, there we go, this will be good. There we go. All right, so if I go ahead and grab, uh, we'll just grab a random enemy here. Uh, maybe not a creeper, because creepers explode normally, so that might not be uh, a great example. Um, yeah, let's go with the drowned. So if I put that, well, actually, no, because he's going to, let's see. Let's go with something that's not going to burn during the daytime. Uh, how about... You know, let's go with the... Let's go with... Let's see. Let's go with a Vindicator. That all work. Uh, okay, so we have ourselves our Vindicator. And if I kill him... You'll see that it, uh... Well, that wasn't a very good example, now was it? It made the explosion sound effect there. Um, but it actually did not show an explosion. There we go. So, it seems to only make the explosion sound effect. Uh, whenever doing that. Uh, sometimes it actually will make a small explosion that'll get rid of, uh, about one or two blocks, but... Most of the time, it's going to make just the sound effect, and it might do some minor explosion damage to nearby stuff. Uh, but if I go ahead and grab an anvil, and uh, time set, let's see, time set day, so we don't have to worry about this And we just kind of throw this in here. You see, now we have explosive two. Now, if we do this again, 
we should see. There we go. So we have a little bit of an explosion there. Uh, the size of the explosion will vary. Uh, so there we just had a small like one block explosion uh, sometimes it will give you a full like almost like creeper sized explosion uh, but it does vary I I'm not sure if it varies based on what mob you're fighting or if it's just uh, a random variable of what size you get uh, but yeah so it's not super useful when put on swords However, if you put it on a pickaxe, it is very useful because on a pickaxe, uh, it will allow you to uh, mine three by three areas. Uh, and that's only just demonstrating two out of the 10 craftable enchants in this update. Uh, but that is literally everything that's going to be in this update. Uh, this update will be dropping on May 2nd, and uh, yeah, that's about it. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed this update. Um, I think some of these craftable enchants will be very useful. Some of them, maybe not so much, but we have a lot going on in this update. So, for now, thank all you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, guys.